Rain impacting our Monday morning here. Whether you're heading back to school, getting that new year going, or uh, just heading back to work, the daily grind. Uh, we've got rain out there. This is going to uh, slow us down on the roads this morning. So if it's one of those where you're already a step or two behind, this is uh, certainly not going to help you uh, get there any faster once you get out there driving around. These are usually the mornings when we have this much water sitting on the roads that as traffic picks up, we end up getting some accidents. People just going a little too fast for the conditions. Even driving in this morning, there's already some water standing on the roads and we've got the heaviest rain just out towards our west. All right, so we got a disturbance dropping in passing through this morning. Still some energy back towards the west. So even though the rain's fading a little bit right there along our northern edge by the Missouri border, still think we could see some scattered showers kind of come back in here as we go through the rest of our morning. Again, to start the day, that's the best rain chance. Our morning hours we will taper it off late morning, early afternoon across the area. So it's not going to rain all day long. Widespread heavy rain, a lot more of those yellows and oranges and reds showing up across east central Oklahoma. Again, been seeing some heavy rain along the I-40 corridor. You're heading west uh, this morning. Anytime soon, there's going to be a lot of water out there. This is where the flooding concerns the highest low line poor drainage areas. A lot of rain across LaFleur, Sequoia counties into Haskell, Latimer. Slowly been spreading that rain east along I-40 and then spreading it east across southern areas of Sebastian County into Franklin. Slowly getting some of those sprinkles into Logan and uh, Johnson County. Seeing the rain pick up, especially higher elevations. Widespread soaker across uh, Washington County, Madison, Carroll's counties, and then uh, Bella Vista, Gravit over towards uh, uh, Pea Ridge, Garfield. See a little bit of some breaks right now. More rain chances still, though, will be high through mid morning. We're talking 9, 10 o'clock. I think that's when rain chances are at its highest in terms of coverage. Uh, once we get past mid morning, we start to go late morning, early afternoon. That's when we'll start to taper it off. So again, scattered showers likely across the majority of the area as we go now through 8 a.m. We get closer to 9, 10 o'clock. We'll start tapering it off from north west to southeast by late morning, morning, early afternoon. Again, the rain continues to push out of here towards central Arkansas and we'll mix some sunshine in. temperatures starting out this morning. Rain cold 60s for all of northwest Arkansas. Got our warmest temperature showing up south of I-40. A few low 70s. Not bad whatsoever for us, huh? Uh, we're going to look for 80s. So again, what a treat Saturday and Sunday were. Temperatures in the 70s and 80s for highs. We're back into the 80s again today. Now the heat and humidity really becomes the main story as we go through the rest of the week. So soak it in again. Uh, Boston Mountains, once again, temperatures trying to top out in the upper 70s. Pretty much, again, area-wide, we're looking at 80s out there. As I mentioned, heat and humidity really takes off the rest of the week. Could see a few isolated downpours overnight into tomorrow morning, especially for maybe northwest Arkansas, even eastern areas of the River Valley. We'll watch that. One more disturbance there. And then again, top story, especially by Wednesday, is the building heat. We'll likely have heat alerts out for all of five country by um, Wednesday, I expect to see some at least for the River Valley tomorrow as we'll start talking about feels like temperatures near 105 up to 110 degrees uh, for a couple of days there. And then we'll try to maybe bring in some spotty downpours as we get late weekend of the weekend. Oh, goodness. So as we're heading out.